Hey everyone, Clay from Clayviation.com. Today we're talking about the autopilot in our airplane. We're flying up near Asheville in North Carolina um, and we are in the Airfoil Lab Cessna 172. Great add-on product to the X-Plane 11. Um, right now I'm hand flying the airplane and being able to hand fly the airplane is both critical and essentially essential and a fantastic um, skill to be able to master. But the autopilot is a great resource especially when you're looking to multitask in a high workload environment. So we are working with the KAP-140, which if we take a look down here at our radio stack, you can see is this unit right here on our airplane. There are several variations of this. Uh, this is the most upgraded model that they uh, have, which has a multi-axis autopilot and allows us to control um, both heading and our altitude. So. Let's take a look at a few basic features. You can see we're about to fly over Asheville Airport just ahead of us. We're at about 5,000 feet right now. And we're just holding our altitude. Our uh, airplane is trimmed out. So let's say we simply wanted to initiate our autopilot. Um, we're flying along and we just want to turn it on. Okay, hands off for just a minute. So all we really need to do for that is to push the AP button down here, our autopilot button. And what that's going to do is two things. Number one, it's going to hold our wings at the current level they are. If our wings are level, it'll keep our wings level. If we are in a bank, it'll keep our wings in that same bank. And the second thing that it's going to do, it's going to set our current vertical speed that we have in the autopilot. So if we've got a 500 foot per minute vertical speed um, climb, it's going to set a climb to 500 feet. So it's going to capture our vertical speed and our heading. And we'll see that, I'm sorry, not our heading, our roll. So roll and vertical speed is what it's going to capture. We press autopilot. There we are. Roll mode and vertical speed mode. Now, this up and down key. Let's zoom in a little bit now that we're uh, we got an autopilot flying. This up and down key on here is how we actually adjust our vertical speed. So, um, if you actually select either the up or down key, it will for a moment display your vertical speed in feet per minute. Right now we have a zero foot per minute vertical speed we're straight and level. So the first thing we might want to do is say well let's fly a particular heading okay we've got roll mode activated and it's flying us the direction that we're currently heading assuming our wings are level but what if we wanted to actually set a particular heading let's just call it west let's say we wanted to fly west well you've got this heading bug right here on your let's zoom in here you've got this heading bug that's right here on your um, directional gyro. Now you can set this heading bug with your mouse as so, like so, and this little red bug rotates around and you can set it to whichever direction you want. Now you can set it to a particular key on your yoke or uh, keyboard if you want a little bit um, easier uh, use of it. And I actually have a key on my yoke so I don't actually have to use my mouse. I can just press and hold to rotate around and get it to where it wants to go. So let's zoom back out a little bit and see what happens. Now in order to now select our heading using that heading bug, all we have to do is come over here and press the HDG key. That's our heading key. You're going to see now roll goes to heading. The airplane initiates a turn at standard rate. And we're going to head towards the heading that we selected. So the next thing we'll talk about is initiating a climb or a descent. Um, let's say that right now we are at, a, uh, well, we're at 5,200 feet. Let's say that we want to get up to about 5,500 feet. We're going to roll off on west, and I'll show you how to do that. OK, so we're coming up on west. That's where our heading bug is set. Our airplane will go ahead and roll itself out. I've got no control inputs in right now. My hands are off. The airplane is doing this with the autopilot. So let's say we need to climb now, and we want to say 5,500 5, is a good altitude for us. So let's go back to our autopilot. We're going to simply begin by pressing the up key. Once, we'll display vertical speed. 
and then continuing to press is actually going to adjust our climb. So if we decide to have a 500 feet per minute climb in, which is what I have, press it once and it'll display it, the airplane will now initiate a 500 feet per minute climb. Now here's what's important to know with this. It is going to pitch for that climb of 500 feet per minute, which means if you don't do anything with your power down here, you're going to probably lose some airspeed. So if you were not at full power already, you're going to want to make sure that you power up if you're going to climb. Likewise, in a descent, you're going to want to make sure that you power down before the airplane starts to pitch down for a descent, or else you're going to pick up a bunch of airspeed. Now, if you'll notice here, we put in our, uh, this says 2,000 feet here, which is uh, doesn't mean anything to us right now, and I'll explain that next. We put in our 500 foot per minute uh, climb, and we wanted to get up to 5,500 feet. Well, obviously, that's not going to stop there if we don't tell it to stop there. So it's just going to keep climbing at 500 feet per minute indefinitely at our heading, because you can see we've got heading mode and vertical speed mode active. Well, let's say that we want to uh, level off then set our altitude for 6,000 feet. If you go up to your, and I'll tell you what, those mountains are looming pretty close, so let's go ahead and set our heading bug. You can see all you have to do is rotate your heading bug around and it's going to turn the airplane. It's really easy to turn the airplane on your autopilot. Just set your heading bug where you want it. So let's head back to the south. Okay, so we're still climbing. We want to stop at 6,000 feet. Here's how we do it. You've got a big knob and a little knob here. Your big knob adjusts your thousands of feet and your little knob adjusts your hundreds of feet. Now you're going to select 6,000 feet and then we're simply going to press the arm key. Now vertical speed is still, is still um, climbing us here, but our altitude mode is armed. So if we go back out, let's watch what happens. The airplane is now rolling out on south, which is where we had our heading bug, and we now had our altitude approaches now if you notice that altitude arm went away altitude is now up into the active display here so now we are in altitude mode where this autopilot is going to hold our 6,000 feet and our heading of south so that's how we set our altitude now you'll notice you'll hear a little beep anytime you are 1,000 feet within your altitude so Climbing through, in this case, 5,000 feet. Once uh, we are at 5,000 feet, we will uh, hear that 1,000 foot altitude warning. Now, the other thing we can do is to navigate with our autopilot. So let's just go and take a look at our radios here. Our Garmin 430 here, which I have another YouTube video on how to use this for its bas basic functions. But let's go ahead and put in a um, waypoint here. Let's figure out what our, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to go back out, click this and bring up this unit so we can look at it. Let's find out what our nearest airport is. In this case it is Asheville uh, Regional AVL. We know that. We were just flying there. Now we already had it selected, but if we want to select um, to go there, we'll hit direct to. It's going to ask us if we want to activate. We'll hit enter. And now we have Asheville active. Now, if we go back to our autopilot down here and simply hit, let me zoom in so you can see it, select our nav key. Now, heading is what we've been flying in, and now our nav is armed. So let's see what the airplane is doing. Nothing. And why is that? This is a very common mistake that a lot of pilots make, and uh, so I wanted to demonstrate it to you here today. Right now, this little button above our course deviation indicator here has nav selected. Well, our GPS is currently um, navigating us. So if we select this to GPS, now watch what happens. Ah, the autopilot starts responding. It initiates a turn to intercept this course. And if we actually click over here to our map, we can see kind of what's going on. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see, okay, our autopilot is turning now to intercept the course that we initially selected straight to Asheville Airport. 
So that little nav GPS key is very important. Now, had you selected a VOR in your nav uh, radios here, and you were actually navigating using your VOR, that would be important to have the nav key selected. Ultimately, when you select nav mode on your autopilot, your um, autopilot is going to follow this CDI needle right here. So those are the basics today. There is more to the autopilot. Um, you can actually fly approaches with the autopilot. A little beyond the scope of these basics. I just want you to be able to get up in the air, use your autopilot to keep yourself straight and level, um, make some turns, and uh, find your way to the nearest airport if you need to. Have some fun. Play around with these settings. Uh, hope you had a good time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, take a look at the blog also over at claviation.com. Um, new blog every Wednesday. Fly safe. Have a great day.